hi guys happy christmas it is the 25th december and uh yeah you're gonna get a video tomorrow as well because you know what i've not sorted out yet um i hope every single person who watches me and stitches and has had a lovely day it is 20 past 10 at night here so christmas is well and truly over in our house um yeah we had a bit of an early start this morning please note the bags under my eyes um at two o'clock this morning i had to go through and tell two of my girls well maddie maddie was up as well and lizzie and flora were awake they were pretending to be asleep and i put the emphasis on the word pretending to be asleep which you know is not much use to me is it so that was like two in the morning so i was like oh i was like well stuff it you're out of luck father christmas is not visiting now but obviously yeah he did he turned up and sneaked in the only santa gifts we do is just this is just the stocking but you know they're they're big girls flora came in sat next to him went oh you found me this you found me that and it was really cute so they all they all know obviously they all know and they, we i've never played the silly santa game actually because I'll be damned if I'm working my ass off all year, buying them all loads of lovely things, carefully choosing little presents for each of my children, you know, for them to think some old guy has delivered them. So, no, I'm taking full credit for it. <laughs> That's how I roll. Anyway, we've had a lovely day. Um, Austin woke up at three. That is three in the morning after I went to bed after two. Um, he stayed through with Robin for two hours watching the movie. Um, obviously, he tore his stocking to bits at three in the morning. Um, and then he came through into my room at five. And um, yeah, luckily, was what we luckily we found something on, oh, Sean the Sheep or something was on BBC. And then, uh, what's it called? Um. It's the film about the Yeti and it was on the BBC iPlayer and I just happened to cross it and it was like heaven because he hadn't seen it and I'm actually going to find it because I can't remember what it's called. A bon, a bon, a bonimable, a word I cannot say, a bonimable, <laughs> that. Anyway, he loved that. So by the time he'd watched that, it was nearly time. It was nearly time for me to get up. My alarm nearly went off. So I am shattered. So he came down the stairs, put his YouTube on, um, eyed up the presents because I, I left the presents up in my, up in my bedroom with the door. Um, not locked, but I have a knitting needle solution at the moment because I said, hey, the door slides and Eric can open it. So we've got a hole and a knitting needle that goes through the hole and it stops the door sliding, sliding into the wall, which is uh, yeah necessary with Eric around. So I had the door pinned pinned it's not locked it's sort of it's kind of locked um with all the presents in here and i trucked them all downstairs with austin going well i know what's in that one well i know what's in that one because <laughs> you know he's nine um but he was only going by the shapes of the boxes and the noises they were making as i was bringing them downstairs obviously lego is very hard to decide to, to blah, very hard to hide when you pop it down on the sofa next to a very excited nine and a half year old so uh yeah he's not actually done that much building yet um after the girls got up about we, we went down at half past eight for presents so that was that was not we that was late for us for christmas day so they all went downstairs for half past eight after presents were done i took a breath came upstairs and i finished and i put it up on instagram so most of you who follow me on instagram will have seen it anyway i finished my little freebie winter cat a uh, winter dog it was autumn cat it's because i've got the autumn cat right there which i did on a much smaller fabric it turns out i did it on 40 count so uh there is my little winter dog finished he's blowing out a little bit in this light he looks really good he does stand out quite well on the fabric although he doesn't really hear um so i'm going to get him finished off finished up quite happy with him so that's what I did between presents and making pancakes. Then made a batch of four eggs. So it's like 
each egg, for each egg you need 100 grams of flour. I put a tablespoon of caster sugar in just to make sure they're sweet rather than savoury because for us the breakfast pancakes they're sweet and um, a quarter of a pint of milk that's my go-to for and some vanilla that's my go-to for scotch pancakes um, so it was four eggs which made a pint of milk 400 grams of flour and as much caster sugar was left in the bag it was uh, like probably two and a half tablespoons left in the bag and a splash of vanilla so that made this many pancakes um, which were gone in about four or five minutes bar the couple that kind of caught I had two two gas rings going so I got a bit wobbly and muddled up and yeah a couple of them caught which sometimes Robin will eat oh, and sometimes he won't but the turkey was in the oven it pipped while I was making them so we had to power down the hob move it because the turkey obviously had to come out and come up on top get its foil taken off and turkey was delicious anyway so we had then had another break and I probably sat for too long just faffing on um, between having the pancakes and going to my mum and dad's suddenly we realised we were going to be late so we went and we basically clattered out the house remembered everything um, Robin couldn't find his phone but he's <laughs> He very pointedly said to me that it was OK because he could live without his phone. And I said, well, OK, I can't live without mine. I need my phone with me all the time, which is true because I have YouTube to check. I have Instagram to check. I have all sorts of things I need to check all the time, obviously. Somebody just tripped outside the door, I think. I got Maddie a rather nice bottle of gin for Christmas. I wonder how much of it she's drunk already. Hmm. She oh, mm, she had a bit of a hangover this morning. Apparently she didn't, and apparently she was fine, but she was very, very grumpy this morning. So while I was sitting, I thought, you know what, I'm gonna, I'm still behind. I still haven't put very many more stitches into the key, and I'm still lagging on my 21 in 2021. So here's my dear little, there's my dear little key. He's coming along. This is the key, it's Custom Mills, it's Hayde. If you don't know me and you haven't seen all these over and over again, it's enormous because it's on 14 count. It's huge. And I like it because it's so easy. So I picked it up here, went back into this area here and I have put 650 today stitches in uh, the purpley colour, the pinky colour and 318, I think. I took three colours with me. And did that much today just a little bit just filling in stitches um, it's not so much confetti but it is quite a lot of jumping about so I put in quite a lot of stitches today you can see my scrawly my scrawly progress on the back there you can see it's a couple here a couple there a couple there move here move here move here move here follow round round up down round 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 yeah cross country with pattern keeper of course so I've put in some stitches here. I'm now going to check tomorrow where I am with my stitches and hopefully get the required number in so that I can click off my 21 in 21 on that piece. I have, of course, already done 21 in 21 on my Snow Wizard, but that's not the one I started the challenge with. That was just the bonus. The one I started with was the key. And again, if there's a 22 in 22, it'll be the key I use because that's the one I want to bang stitches into and work towards a finish in the next conservatively two years to March because I started it in March 2020 I restarted it in March 2020 so March 2021 is a year so I've really got until March 2022 I wanted to do it in four years, but I'm at 35%. So I don't think there's any way I'm going to get 15% on it done unless I stitch on that and only that. And we all know that's not going to happen. So then, so I took that with me and stitched on that on the way. Yeah, 3042 was one of the ones I had with me today. Lovely, dusky pink. Um, went to mum and dad's, had a delicious meal absolutely delicious meal it was lovely really lovely um i ate far too much food and i'm probably going to put a couple of stills in here of the dinner um i've got 
I might have to put little emojis on my little nephew's faces because I have not asked permission to put their faces up because they don't know that I do this. And if I tell them, they're going to go back and watch them and it's going to be awful. So I haven't told any of them. If they find me later on, that's fair dues, but I'm not going to tell them that I'm putting it up. Gave my sister her cross stitch, her Emma Kong's in peace, and she nearly cried. She absolutely loved it. She was like, she loved it. And I was so pleased because, you know, I've been joking on that she doesn't like homemade presents and yada. She really liked it. And I just said, oh, I'm so pleased you like it. I had loads of fun stitching it, you know. <laughs> Have your present. It's all about me. I love doing it because I did really enjoy stitching it. It was lovely, easy. I thoroughly, highly recommend Emma Congdon pieces as being super fun to do. They're bright, they're colourful, they're cheerful. Here is another one that is, what, a third done? Hmm, maybe, maybe, maybe about a third done. My Noel, which is halfway through the O. I would really like to get the O finished before I box it off for the year and put it away until next year, maybe. And until then, I've got this piece of Laguna, Lugana. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Excuse me um, to to start a couple more because I do really love them. Now, at my mum and dad's, we did gifts. I am wearing a hoodie that Maddie got for me. I got it because it is a man's medium. It is enormous, but it says on it, fat moose, which I just loved. Anything weird like that. Like I love weird fish and stuff like that and kangaroo poo does anybody remember kangaroo poo clothes it was like early 2000s surfwear I wore my kangaroo poo clothes until they fell to pieces and then I couldn't get them anymore but you can you can get them but I think I'm too old for them now and of course being Christmas day I am wearing my Christmas dress for its second outing of the year it will now be washed and put away until next December whereupon I will wear it again for the Christmas cracker at work and for Christmas Day. It is. And this is, I think, the fourth year of me wearing it. It has a full skirt, comes to just below my knee, has a full swishy skirt. And for a cheapy, it'll go up like a toxic bomb because it's this horrible printed, stretchy, like, oh, the cheapest, well, it's awful. It has pockets, you know, pockets, pockets in a dress. Who knew? This dress has pockets. Oh, I love it. My Christmas dress on its second outing and it will be stashed <laughs> I go away again until Christmas Day next year. And wherever I am, whatever I do at Christmas, this is the dress I wear. Tough luck. It's perfect. It's Christmas. It's static and it's sticking to my body. Ugh. Um, gift wise. Oh my God, I'll show you them tomorrow. My mum got me a pair of scissors and they're, they've got curved little blades and they are lovely. And she put a little dingle dangle on that belonged to my grandma, my grandpa, because she said to the lady when she bought, she bought them, I think she must have found an LNS and bought them from an LNS somewhere where I don't know um I have a chain they gave me a, they gave me a silver chain as well which I really like but I'm not very good with jewelry I will probably wear it today take it off and not wear it for another 15 years probably but it's oop ran the wrong way it's really sparkly and very super pretty they try they try I'll show you my scissors tomorrow I'm only just I'm just not going to try and stop this video I'm just going to let it run and then go downstairs. I'm looking for something and I don't know what I'm looking for. I don't know what. Oh, I am. I know what I'm looking for. Where have I put them? Oh, here. Um, so my mum got me a lovely pair of snips. I have a lovely silver necklace, which, as I say, <laughs> I may or may not ever wear ever again. I'm just not very good with I'm not very good with wearing anything other than my Garmin, which I cannot live without. I have done a grand total of 2,233 steps today. And that'll do me. Now I got the I got the shit end of the stick. I thought I was being so clever. The jolly walk. 
does anybody else do a jolly walk on Christmas Day? It's just, just before twilight, let's go for a jolly walk. And I thought, hmm, there's Robin's asleep in the chair. Austin's doing Lego. And I thought all the others would go because all the others usually go. And I thought, brilliant. I can sit and stitch for three quarters of an hour while they're gone. Oh no, I got the shitty end of the stick. I got, Auntie Emily, can you help me with my Meccano? And my sister's going, she's an engineer. It could be brilliant. She'll be perfect. And my little, my little nephew, my young, my younger nephew, he's uh, seven weeks older than Austin. He's like, I'm not very good at things like this. And I was like, oh, come on, we'll do it together. It could be fine. So I sat there for like three quarters of an hour going, oh my God, this is hard. <laughs> this is so hard. And I was, I just wasn't in the mood for it because Austin got a really cool technical Lego, like a Jeep. Um, he was like well away building its engine and all of that and all the springs for the suspension. He was off. My older nephew, who's got a mind a bit like Austin, very technical, was doing Meccano. And the little nephew, he wanted to join in. So he'd got his little bit of Meccano and he was trying to do it. So in the end, I said some swear words. They don't they don't use swear words. Both of them were like, <gasps> and I was like, oh, my God, I've done something really, really, really. I said, do you not, do you not use swears? They're nine and eleven. I said, do you not use swears? And Austin didn't bat an eyelid, of course, because he hears it all the time. He knows, he knows, Austin knows. See, this is my whole point. Austin knows when to use and when not to. He doesn't, he choose. he says, I choose not to use the words. Which, fair enough, brilliant, good for him. I'm sure he will when he's a teenage boy and revolting. Um, but he knows the application, whereas the boys, my nephews, don't know. I'm sure my eldest, the, my eldest one, he's 11. He, he's at high school. He must hear swears. But the pair of them both turned around and they were like, oh! <laughs> I was like, shit, what? Oh, that's what I said. <laughs> I was like, fuck, sorry. Oh, God, worse. I'm making it worse. <laughs> and my sister was, my sister came around the corner and she was like, I said, do you not use swears? And she went, no, not ever. <laughs> Oops. So my little nephews think I'm terribly cool because I've I've got the potty mouth, you know, and I'm I'm allowed to use swears and my kids swear and they they, they were so funny. They're just that age, yeah, where it's funny. Anyway, the bloody Meccano, yeah, I got the wrong end of the stick there, and I ended up not doing any stitching at all. And then we had tea, and then we went, and then anyway. So I'll show you my other really cool gift. My sister got me a pair of these. Now these are what's called turtle doves and I don't know if it's an international, I don't know if they've gone international, they're already grubby, um, but these are a British company who recycle and reuse cashmere sweaters. So I've got two sleeves here from a, from a rather beautiful seafoam green sweater turned up the other way because obviously if you look at it, there's the sleeve of the sweater. It was a small sweater. They 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 all get they all get um, washed and dyed and made to fit. But you can see that's a sleeve of a sweater, or it was once. And they finished them into hand warmers. And oh my god, I'm never taking them off. I'm going to live in these apart from at work where obviously. My fingers, I am a cold, you can see, my fingers are always cold. We've, I, is it called rain, rain, rain yards or something? Where you don't get blood and your hands go like white splotchy hands, feet, ears, noses, runs in my family. I have it in my fingers and my toes, I assume. I've not been diagnosed. There's no point. I don't care. There's nothing they can do about it. I've just got to try and keep warm. So, uh. Yeah, I know. I know my elder cousin has got it much, much worse. He's got it in his face, and you know he's. And as soon when when I saw him at my grandma's funeral, he actually said, "Oh, you have it too." And I was like, "What?" He was like, "Well, Reynolds." And he put his hands up, and I put my hands up, and they looked exactly the same, all all cold and white. Cause it was freezing. It was January, cold and white and red in places. You know, my feet were always white, white or bright red, and in, in yeah, revolting. Anyway, too much information here. These. Are lovely and my fingers were warm almost immediately they really really keep your hands warm so they're cashmere and they're gorgeous and they're already a little bit grubby because I've already worn them 
all afternoon. <laughs> so I really, really love these. And they're recycled, they're sustainable. It's, you know, they're an ethical company. And I have a pair of double doves. That's the label on them. And I absolutely really love those. So I got a couple of really, really nice little things. Robin gave me a U, a Scottish U. It's, I'll, show, I'll bring it up tomorrow and show you. It's absolutely the most batshit piece of wood you've ever seen. One side looks like it's splot, like dribbly, and the other side it's got so much grain on it, it's like an explosion. It looks like a sort of goblety thing, so I don't know whether to... I'm maybe going to make a pincushion for it, I'm not sure. I might make a like a, a pincushion lid for it, if you see what I mean. But I'll think of something, because it's beautiful, and I need, I, need it, I need to use it for something. So good prezzies and my dogs are barking they probably want out for a last wee and then when I got in we, well everyone my sisters we had tea um a couple of pictures of tea like tea with china and nice china plates and cake and tea the drink so we had tea and then the sugar hit the boys and my nephews went from here to up there somewhere and literally within the space of five minutes the klaxon had gone off for my sister and she was like I have to get them out of here or all hell is going to break loose and you could hear them winding up and it was obviously time to go so uh, they went we had to do a big shunt so Robin and Austin Robin whose painkillers had run out and had been sleeping he's basically slept all today well again uh, and Austin who was like going the other way he'd had just as much sugar as the boys they went that way and Austin went oh I'm sleepy now another one of my parenting thinkings don't let your kids have sugar until they're three call raisin sweets you know and when they suddenly get sugar it hits their system like that whereas my kids have just always had a little bit of everything you know I didn't call things that weren't chocolate chocolate oh we're pretending it's chocolate he doesn't know the difference you know but we don't have any sugar I am not I am not that parent I am fuck it let's go to McDonald's I'm like here have chocolate buttons if it's all you're going to eat Maddie went through a phase when she was about 14 months old where the only two solid foods I could get into her were chocolate mousse and dairy lee god what they're dairy lee strips dairy lee is like Primula cheese, but milder. It's usually it's usually spreadable, like laughing cow. It comes in little triangles. Well, they sort of processed it into like cheese slices, but super super mild. It actually, it has wonderful texture. But they cut it into tiny little strips and pack them into little pack individual packets, like totally wasting as much plastic as they could. Anyway, for a, for about a week, that was the only solid food I could get into her. And actually, I'm gonna we're gonna be playing the space game now. Um, yeah, she was my first child. I thought she was going to starve to death. Newsflash, she was fine. She started eating other things again. Anyway, so after that, I stayed there with my girls so that Lizzie and Grandpa could have a game of cribbage. They play fierce cribbage. And we just sat and chatted, which is lovely because I just haven't done it for so long. And then we came home at about seven o'clock and I've started, and I'm going to hand stitch it, guys. I've started putting together the little pillow with the quite large grey pom-pom trim that will be my Flossmas giveaway hopefully tomorrow so I did say to comment yesterday so if you comment yes on yesterday so on the 24th video if you want to be entered in to win this obviously there's only one it is this year's dreaming girl on the piece of fabric that I dyed and I stitched her over Flossmas I'm going to finish her into a little pillow which I will stuff with fibre fill I'm hoping I've moved enough stuff onto my SD card to get the last little bit of this video finished yeah so as I was saying I'm going to stuff it with fibre fill so that it will squash flat enough to go through the slot in the post office and go as a large letter which will help the postage dramatically and it won't weigh it won't, won't weigh hardly anything so 
that's my plan I have hand sewn from here to here so far so obviously I'm going to sew round and then when I get to this top edge I'll take the pins out I'll stuff it really carefully and I'll pin it back up and then I'll hand stitch the steam shut the steam the seam shut so that's my plan so if you want to be entered into the dip make sure you've commented on the 24th not on today by all means leave me a comment for today's but to, to, to be entered for the dip for that you have to put in on the you have to leave me a comment and emojis enough as long as it registers you with a comment because I random search through the, then the comments it doesn't matter what the comment says so if you fancy that and you didn't watch yesterday's just go and just put a comment on yesterday's that's all anything just a hi or anything doesn't matter and I'll run the dip I'm hoping to come into I should I'm at work nine till two tomorrow so I'm going to be hopefully home, you know, during the day at some point. So I'm going to try and get that finished and I'm going to do my draws. It's not going to be a Flossmas video as such. It's going to be a giveaway draw video. And that's what I'm going to aim for. So which will round me up and then I can herd all the stuff together, sort it all out, get it all boxed up. And I'll probably post it in two batches. Um, right, guys. I've had a really lovely Christmas day. I've really enjoyed doing Flossmas with you. And I will see you tomorrow for the giveaway. If it doesn't go up tomorrow, it'll go up the next day. Promise. But hopefully tomorrow. And I will see you for that. And I hope you've had a wonderful Christmas day, whatever you've done today. Because I've had a lovely day. And my kids have been gorgeous. And... I saw my family and I spoke to my mum and my dad, which was always lovely. And my sister and her two boys, which is, it's nice, you know, it's nice. It's nice to be around your family, isn't it? Right, guys, I will see you. Take care of yourselves. Till tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good. Poor sad Steve. Billy, 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 have you had raw turkey? No. We've had a bit of an issue with the cats and the turkey. I had to stand by and lift them off the counter as they were jumping up. Does you think this one's more your thing? That's for you. That's for me? I Thank you. I got, I got a present. That was okay. What? Oh, that, was on lace. that was on lace in my um, um, socks. Um, Maddie's been stockings. and bought presents for us. Done. First year we've got an adult. Right. Thank you. Nah. Thank you so much, my darling. Do you know what it is yet, Lizzie? No, the air. <laughs> Lizzie's pulling that. Oh, do the air from my hand. You all like it. Right. Ah! Oh my god, don't drop them. For fuck's sake. Especially not those ones. That one's probably the best one to drop if you're going to drop one of them. Right, ready, guys? Are we ready to commence? Everybody look at me and go, Happy Christmas! Lizzie, stick your head forwards. Merry Christmas! I can't get you all in. Maddie, you need, Lizzie, you need to go forwards. Maddie, you need to come forwards. That's it. Say Happy Christmas. Happy Christmas. All of you. You're not opening presents until you do. <laughs> Good morning, Maddie. Happy Christmas. Lizzie. Happy Christmas. Say happy Christmas. Two, three. Happy Christmas. So I've just popped a few photos in. Here's T and here's Austin most definitely not eating the smallest sprout in the world. Here is us trying to do the Lego and the Meccano. And then here we are at dinner. Here's my kids and my little nephews. And here's my three little bookend daughters. Aren't they beautiful girls?